What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Asia. And it's your boy, BJ. And, and we're we back like we never, never left. left. Thank you guys for pulling back up as we jump into our TV series, The Sopranos. Last we were, we, last we were watching now. Last we were watching, Dr. Melfi, Tony kissed Dr. Melfi during one of his one of his sessions. Mm -hmm. And that right there, I was like, I'm like, man, Tony, oh, what are you doing? He didn't just kiss her, baby. He, he really, he, he came on to her. He you know professed what I mean? his love. And then he said that I love you. Yeah. But, I mean, I, I just feel like, like again, like Tony, he going through a lot right now. Yeah, he He is. just lost Jackie. Um, you know, his, 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 his marriage is kind of on the rocks as far as what I'm saying. Yeah. And even with Carmella, she was, she, she was hanging out with, with, with the priest. <laughs> <with the priest. laughs> So it was, and, and they shared a little moment. Yeah, so like the last couple episodes that we watched were really, really good. Yeah. And I didn't know what was going to make of it. They had the lights all low and everything. They I were know, sipping babe. on the wine. And the and fireplace going. They had, that. She, she had <laughs> communion and everything. But she, but she had to confess her sins, though. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, I mean, I'm not, I'm not mad at her. Mm -hmm. I'm not mad at her. Okay, we are gonna see, cause cause, 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 nothing, cause nothing happened. She it, kept it real. Nah, she, she kept it 100. She did, but even the priest said that was the hardest, hardest test I ever had to pass. Yeah, but it wasn't hard for Carmel. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, babe. I still have my reservations. The way she ran up them stairs as fast as she went up them stairs to get her hair and stuff all fixed up, and she was supposed to be sick. I don't know about that, cause if she wasn't feeling some type of way, she wouldn't have done all of that unless she was just trying to get herself together. Just trying to get herself together. Okay. You know what I mean? Maybe that. We 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 gonna we gonna, we gonna give her a fair one. You know what I mean? <laughs> Maybe that. But it was good to see Carmela and Tony at the end of the last episode. They gave each other a kiss, and it seemed like they're trying to, you know, get back on track. And they they getting yeah. back on track. So yeah, cause Carmella great to see. Realized great to see. Tony told her that he had a a female. Therapist, but he had a lot about know. that at first. So, that so right. yeah, that was <laughs> that, that was, was the right. problem there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, all right, y'all. Well, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, smash the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asian BJ. Y'all can tap into the Patreon, check out all of our unedited videos, uh, behind the scenes footage, as well as our TV series as well, y'all. We've been jumping into a lot lately, so uh, make sure y'all tap in and let's go ahead and jump into this video, y'all. Let's get into it, y'all. Uh, 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 uh. Here, take a swing. And don't backwash. Stealing the sacramental wine? It's not sacramental until they bless it, more. All clear. Come on, Soprano Di Colucci, shake a leg. One, two, six, five, seven, six, ten, one, two, three, oh, wait, you think three four, 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 five, four, five, five, four, five, 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 is that alcohol on your breath? Oh, no! <laughs> oh, you sound nasty. I know. That's all you got. What are they, like you said, what were they drinking? The wine, the communion wine at the church oh. when they went in there. <laughs> I didn't know that. I don't know how they got there and got back. Hey, how's the boy? I got dust up the crack of my ass and I'm starving to death. Get him the hell out of here. Is there a problem? Look, you made your point, okay? What point is that? Enough with this work stoppage. This is a union safety official, and he stays until the union deems this workplace is free of hazard. <laughs> I'll get your money, okay? We shall return. Hallelujah. You sure it was them? They were drunk in gym class. I didn't even drink it. I spat it out. Anthony, why don't you wait outside? Not at the Catholic school. Um, hi. It's not just this one incident. Anthony sometimes has trouble following the rules, <laughs> weighing consequences. It's thought that there's a good possibility Anthony could be ADD. I knew it. I always knew there was something. Of course, to be sure, we'll need to give him a thorough evaluation. All he needs is a whack upside the head. It's a crime to suspend that child from school with all the money you give them. I bet that gym teacher shit a brick when your little friend puked on his boots, huh, Anthony? <laughs> <laughs> Want to encourage him, Uncle Joe? He stole from the church. They don't make him any lower than that. What a loser. That's enough out of you. You are not to play Mario Kart or go skateboarding for three weeks. Mario and Kart. no TV. <laughs> and every day, you're going to ride your bike over to Green Grove Retirement Home and visit Grandma. Oh, that will be nice. It's not fair! <laughs> she said, said that will be nice. 
Some fucking day, huh? I feel like a bomb went off. That's probably what he needs. Yeah, he just needs to be grand. I never saw any of that in Anthony. If he even has this thing. Something's going on. You think he knows? I don't know. She knows. What makes you say that? Are you in things she says? Are you in the mafia? She talked to you about me? Talk to me? <laughs> Something happened on that college trip? <clears throat> happened. I think pretty soon we're gonna have to, you know, talk to her about the business. Yeah, two of us should sit down with Meadow. And with him, they'll give him a test and we'll see what's what. Good night. How you answer that question? Did, any, did anything weird happen while y'all was while y'all was on your trip to the college? It's like, oh uh, yeah. Oh nothing. Just I, I just had, had to choke out a known snitch. And then we let our daughter get drunk. And oh, we we almost died at the. Maybe hotel. I don't want to admit there's something wrong with and my kid. And I told kid. her I was in the mafia. Right. But this all sounds like bullshit to me. If he's got a disease, why they tell me to punish him? ADD is a controversial subject. Mm. So you don't consider his behavior out of the norm? I don't know. He probably remind you of him. What do I know about it? Do you see his behavior as a reflection of your own? Look, like I said, may maybe I don't want to admit there's something wrong, but we'll deal with it. Well, last time you uh, were telling me that you had intimate feelings for me. Intimate feelings? I think I said I was in love. How are you doing with it? Well, I already got a girlfriend. She's Russian, 24. She's just looking at him with a blank stare. Look, I gotta ask you one more question about my son. You think I should go easy on him now or press him a little harder? Well, that's difficult to say. What, are you gonna raise? Maybe figure this out? Anthony! Anthony Jr. probably Anthony reminds Jr. Tony of himself when he was Why? 19 years old. I don't old. go to school. I'm suspended. You are not lying around in bed all day. We're not running a hotel over here. And then pull all the leaves out of the filter. Oh Do it Ooh, it's, loud. it's loud in the morning. All right. Oh, turn off that music. Your father is sleeping. <laughs> not anymore. Hey, Anthony, where's your old man? He said he'd be waiting outside. Anthony, why aren't you on your way to school? You miss your bus. You want to walk to the color neighborhood. Big fancy car. We're going to my sister's tonight, and you promised. Dad, could you and Uncle June give me a ride to school? Not right now, Tony. Sleep with all this shit nice. going on. I never saw him do something like that. I mean, he used to whack us kids around a little bit. Really? Yeah, the belt was his uh, favorite child development tool. This was different, though. How did you feel about that? About your father being engaged in illegal activities? I never really knew about it. When did you find out? Who remembers? Are you concerned that your son is going to find out about you? Don't start talking to me about legitimate business. What about chemical companies? Dumping all that shit into the rivers and they get all these deformed babies popping up all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> Does he okay. know anything? I don't know. Did you ever talk to your father about it? What, are you kidding? That doesn't sound like Anthony. Yesterday he's a little boy. Today I gotta worry about it. Meadow is one thing, but this is my son. Boys are different from girls. Pussy, Kevin and Matt, they ever asked you about this thing, Oz? I lied through my teeth, but they knew. They love me anyway. It's hard to raise kids in an information age. Hey, who's got an anniversary or a special occasion? Ooh. You did this in broad daylight? 
Nobody saw me. If you want to spend eight years in prison for a stupid stunt like that, I take a licking but keep on ticking. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Isn't that the time, Jesus man? Christ. <laughs> Something like that. What's with his ass? He's got a lot on his mind. Yeah, he got a lot going on these days. And what do you think is going on in this one, Anthony? I don't know. Whatever pops into your mind. Because there's no guy? Good. Where do you think he is? Out buying food for the horse. Or watching TV, maybe? Maybe he's watching South Park. Number one was supposed to be on tonight. The one where Cartman gets abducted by aliens, and they give him an anal probe, and it makes him fart fire. <laughs> we never saw that. <laughs> oh, made some fart fire. You know, if it's bad, the ADD, they put Anthony in special ed. How they put him in special ed? He sounded normal. Right, to say that? Come on, we don't even know that's what he's got. Let's just be ignorant. Why worry about anything now? You blame me, don't you? Blame myself. For staying with me? What about you? You and your Uncle Lenny, that old bots. My son's got that in his gene pool. Do I blame you for that? If it helps you. You gotta find a reason why. Right. Well, look who's here. Pearl, meet my grandson. How come he's not in school? Because he was a bad boy. Oh. Yes, he was. That's oh, why. Oh, he's a big one. <laughs> Could you not? She had a stroke. Now half a brain is gone. He's a big and cool. Oh, I'm kind of wiped. You're too young to be so tired. They sent me to a psychiatrist all morning. Uh oh. A psychiatrist? But that's crazy. That's all nonsense. Dad goes. He does not. Yes, he does. He does not. Yes, he does. To a psychiatrist? He does not. She's gonna learn all kinds of stuff he today. He does too. What does he need a psychiatrist for? <laughs> Is it okay if I take that pair, Grandma? He goes to talk about his mother. See, I that's what he's point. doing. Oh, I gave my life to my children on a silver platter, and this is how he replaced me. Oh. <laughs> Look, he just emotional this life. Dad, what's that noise? Mm, it's a flat tire. Some kids at school said some stuff. What'd they say? That you were in the mafia. What do you think? There were all those guys at Uncle Jackie's funeral, and those other guys writing down license plate numbers and taking pictures. Those were feds, right? Just like in Godfather 1. Uncle Jackie's funeral. Uh, right. And I found this page with Uncle Jackie on it. It said he ran some union that ripped off these pension things or something. Uncle Jackie was a complicated man. You didn't see me on that web thing, did you? No. Oof, not yet. All right, come on, go Goose. Give me a hand with this thing. See, I'm going crazy with this shit. What he knows, what he doesn't know. Yep, they sure did. I'm gonna find that eventually. What difference does it make? It's probably in the genes, right? You know, this ADD thing? It's probably all genetical. Do you hold your father responsible for what you've become? Yeah, sometimes I think about it what life would have been like if my father hadn't gotten mixed up in the things he got mixed up in. When you first started therapy, you said that you had this dream about those ducks. They flew away with your penis. It was a bad omen that something was going to happen in your family. Look, if you know something, please quit fucking around. I think it's important to remember. He who doesn't understand history is doomed to repeat it. That's true. My father. Down memory lane again. Heads off! And my sister came out. The one who lives in California? Yeah. Janice. How does she feel about your parents? Who gives a fuck what she thinks? She calls herself Vishnu Mata or something. Fucking wanna be that head. Why were you thinking of your uncle? <laughs> I don't know. What are you doing? I'm getting in the car. Dad, yeah. where are you going? Can I come too? Ah, uh, your mother wants you to help her get the screens down to the basement. No, oh, I want to go with you guys. He said no. Janice? Neither one of you will be going. You <laughs> My mother was inside cooking the meat for the gravy, you know, the red lead. It was a Sunday. But you said... I said we'd see. Where were they going today? I don't know why I can go. That's because your sister does as she's told. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Jazz never does anything wrong. She's just perfect, perfect. You're driving me crazy! She said what? She was high strung, my mother. Very dramatic. I could stick this fork in your eye! Oh. <laughs> she wasn't going to do it. What? Oh, man. I don't know where they were going. 
Where were they going? I found out a couple of Sundays later. I still remember that feeling in the pit of my stomach. But how does this pertain to the situation with your son? Because this amusement park was where I found out that my father wasn't like other fathers. No! <laughs> can't bring a kid to an amusement park no more. No. What do you do? What do you do? Yeah. Who's going to hurt my friends? All the guys brought their daughters so that when they did their business, it looked sweet and innocent. That must have been devastating. Well, at the time, I thought my head was going to explode. But when I got home, my mother had a different perspective. Your father may not be home for dinner tonight. Go wash up. What did he do? He didn't do anything. They just pick on the Italians. So he went to jail? No, he came home in a couple of hours. Hey, Livia! Look who's home! Those stupid cops, they went to the wrong place, arrested the wrong guys. Hey, Johnny boy, hey, show those fucking sons of bitches. What's up, Rocco? So, everything okay here? Yeah? I don't understand. The man your father beat up was the same one who was congratulating him? Yeah, Rocco Alatore. This is the part when I'm supposed to tell you how terrible my father was and the terrible things he did to me. But I'll tell you something, I was proud to be Johnny Soprano's kid. Do you think that's how your son feels about you? Yeah, probably. I'm glad if he's proud of me. But that's the bind I'm in, because I don't want him to be like me. Mm. Have you communicated any of this to your son? Not in so many words. And what difference would it make? You said so yourself. It's in the blood. It's not a destiny written in stone. You're born to this shit. You are what you are. Within that, there's a range of choices. This is America. Right. America. So, you Olivia, have a choice what do you think? Of free will. Huh? Right. Okay, and misfits. Reno is growing by leaps and bounds. It's a chance to get in on the ground floor. He wants me to run it. A supper club. Are you drunk? A pillar on the Jesus Christ on my. Me and the kids will go without you. I'd rather smother them with a pillow than take them to Nevada. Always with oh, the gosh. drama. Look how he, he, he like, wanted, wait, wait. Yeah, Dad want to go to Reno, Nevada. Olivia, there you us. are. Oh, Junior, you scared me to death. Business headaches like you wouldn't believe. Oh, yeah, yeah, you and the other one. Who, Tony? You shouldn't be so hard on him. He's headed in the right direction. Where to? Overbrook State Mental Hospital? What? Hey, Uncle Joe. <laughs> hey. <laughs> you see what a good boy he comes to visit his mother? That man is so full of himself since becoming a couple. He makes me sick. You remember the Alatori's, Ma? You know, they moved to Nevada. They're billionaires now. Dad wanted to go with him. You wouldn't let him. You just tell me one time your father didn't do exactly as he wanted. Maybe with a little bit of support, you know? Oh, well, if it bothers you, maybe you better talk to a psychiatrist. Huh? Well... What are you talking about, a psychiatrist? I think she brought it up. Well, that's what people do when they're looking for somebody to blame for their life, isn't it? You know, everybody thought Dad was the ruthless one, but I gotta hand it to you. If you'd been born after those feminists, you would have been the real gangster. <laughs> wow. I don't know what you're talking about. Wow. Oh, look at her eyes. I wish she had that, that, that kitchen fork. Yeah, Hi. Hi, please. Oh, I know you're probably that. eager to hear the results of our testing. The good news is no evidence of learning disability. As to whether Anthony has ADD, the results were interesting. He often has difficulty awaiting his turn, is often quote unquote on the go or acts as if driven by a motor, often interrupts or intrudes on others, and often fidgets with hands or feet. I he like fidgets a kid. with hands or feet. Right. You mean like he fidgets? 
Uh huh. And that's a sickness, the fidget. It's one of nine possible symptoms. <clears throat> wow. What constitutes a fidget? <laughs> Tony. I mean, so what if he fidgets? He's in school. Who doesn't fidget in school? And he doesn't wait his turn. The kid's in puberty. He gets a heart on every 10 minutes, for Christ's sake. Anthony <laughs> is a borderline case. Oh, he's not a case. He's a 13-year-old boy. Come on. He said he fidgets. How does he fidget? <laughs> What's the, what defines fidget? Frankly, I think he's right. Yeah, he's too young to be trying to be put him on medication. Well, he already knows. Who opposed this massive downward? That, that, that's that's Admiral Nimitz had no battleships in shape. Your parents would know that you had. However, he had the carriers Yorktown, Enterprise. Everything he was describing was just like a typical kid. This might be a lot of energy. Right. Especially being a boy. Not want to wait your turn. Like, come on. At first of all, he was, he was giving me all these little symptoms, fidgeting, and not want to wait your turn. I thought he was describing me for a second. <laughs> it's not the end of the world, Dan. I'm depressed. You're not depressed. You did something stupid and you got grounded. What are you doing? What's it look like? Didn't he just work out? He did just work out now. <laughs> yeah, what do? This one's yours. I need sprinkles. Okay. <laughs> you want nuts? Yeah. Work out. Yeah. I like this. I like this last little. This last episode, because they kind of like was going back in the days with like Tony, you know what I mean? Like, kind of to give kind of showing his childhood yeah. too. Now we see why Tony is a little bit like a little gangster. I know because okay? I, yeah. I was I was just curious about his, about his dad too and kind of what his dad did. So it was kind of cool to kind of see them kind of go back to that too. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, same. And Junior as well, Uncle Junior. And Uncle, yeah, yeah. Uncle Junior. Uncle Junior was already doing all of that running around <clears throat> and, and thugging out back then, and even then. Even even at the at the little at the little what at the carnival at the carnival yeah yeah they was already running with a nice tight crew they already had they already had their little stuff organized back then too so he was taking his daughter as the cover up then while they were while they were gone yeah that's what he was going. saying that's what he was saying all, all the guys would take their daughters there just to kind of make it a little more covert <laughs> yeah where he, where they just wouldn't be out in the open looking like they doing something yeah. Oh, gosh. Mm. Okay, y'all. See? We see how this is going. Thank you. Can you give me some candy over there? Yeah. In the Czech Republic, too, we love pork. Ever had our sausages? Looks like he had an epiphany. Like, what? <laughs> Adriana. In the Czech Republic, too, we love pork. Ever had our sausages? Carmella. Email cola. Help you? Salami sub. Oh my gosh, what? Subway you killed me. Out. What do you want me to do about it now? <laughs> I want to tell you. Okay, tell me what? Up. You come here every night. You fucked up. Here's these. Get rid of these. Let go of me! Let go! What kind of dream is he having? So now he having a dream. Oh, his is bad. Yeah, that was about it. I, I would have wrapped it. But <laughs> okay. Okay. Did it the shop. This model you. got such a good write-up, I got one for myself. You're going to love it. Okay, right, let's Karen. move on, okay? Congratulations. <laughs> wow. Yeah. 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 Well, when's it coming down? I don't know. Indictments, what the fuck are you talking about? Are you sure about this? Oh, half of New York moved to Fort Lauderdale already. They're gonna want my ass. Why? When'd you get your fucking wings? I didn't. Not yet, anyway. You guys see indictments under your bed at night. As far as I'm concerned, it's just speculation. It's rumor. Tony, what do you think? What the fuck are you asking him for? I just gave you the answer. He calls the shots, we do it. But maybe, you know, for today, everybody should do a little spring cleaning. That was my next comment. Okay. Oh, 
Oh yeah, because remember they're gonna come over the weekend. Not your phone numbers. Anybody has anybody's on my head. What's the matter? Nothing. So here we go. Yeah. Look, he burned it. He burned all the books. Oh, they with the helicopter. <laughs> Not the helicopter. They said some indictments might be coming around. Because remember that guy, like I said, that, remember the guy that was in there. He was in that circle when, when Junior was. Adriana! Being promoted. It ain't my whole script now. He must have deleted the text. Whatever, whatever. You fucking asshole! All right, stop! If you're gonna keep behaving like a baby, I'm not gonna help you, Christopher. You called him and Christopher. Me? There. The text came back. I managed to get the drop on him. Do you mean to say I managed to get the drop on him? Or is he saying Manuj? Like Manuj el American. I'm riding. Turn on channel six. Uh-oh. Top news. New Jersey Attorney General stated at a fundraiser that a grand jury has been impaneled to investigate possible mob activities in the Garden State with indictments to follow. My sources tell me that Corrado Jr. Soprano was made new boss after the death of Aprile. The Sopranos have long historic ties to the New York families. What about these possible murder charges? Well, they will undoubtedly be focused on the execution-style slaying of Soprano family associate Brendan Filone. Uh, was it part of a power struggle? Wow. Interesting. Might no one would ever have ranked him as Filone. associate. He was a loyal soldier, if you will. Soldier? Or no, as yet. Apparently. Brendan Filone, associate, soldier? Fuck you. Jesus. At least I ain't saying your name. Should <laughs> they be happy? Of time. Georgie, did you see it from the beginning? Did they mention my name? <laughs> no. hey, stop the fucking chit chat. I gotta go. I gotta go. Uh, why should I refer him to another doctor? He's my patient. Well, you know you can't treat sociopaths. You, you have no idea who this man is, and yet you call him scum. People like him, and the reason Italian Americans have such a bad image. What? Get down here right away. We're exterminating. And get some sure you're and cannoli and shit for the guys. Yeah. What are we exterminating? Right. I don't know if that's more than like a cold word or what. Hey, Gino. Can I get you? Be some, um... Whoa, whoa. Number 34 right here. Now get a fucking pastry box. Gino, what can I get you? Oh! All right, let me have uh, two new pollen and loaves. You touch uh, a single fucking crust, you're going to wish you took that job at McDonald's. Fuck you. Uh-oh. Okay, take a walk. Come on. They're going to lock the door. And they can put the clothes on, though. Right? Yeah. We're closed. <laughs> now, get up. I'm not going to hurt you. What is it? Do I look like a pussy to you? No. I'm serious. Be honest. I won't get mad. No. So Tell why the, the fuck would you give me a hard time and talk to me like I'm nothing to worry about? I I I'm, I'm sorry. Get a pastry box. Move it! <laughs> okay. And give me one of everything. Better. Shoot! Whoa! Oh. Babe! Where her ever for one of those bullets? Ricochet hit him in the leg. <laughs> he was moving too slow for me. <laughs> give me the box. I shoot. All you had to do was just give him what he wanted. Next time you see my face, show some respect. I will. Ah, and it you happened. Mother, you shot my foot. It happens. Ah, you. <laughs> I'm getting an invitation to the dance. I wish the feds are hurry to fuck up about it. Only well, things are working. It's gonna be Junior's party. I called you last Christmas. Fuck this. Hey, this fool you down. What's wrong with you? Take Georgie. Go in the bathroom. Sweep for bugs. Okay. Not to mention he he fired his. Huh fired his firearm in, in broad daylight. Right. Showed his face and everything. And old boy got hit in the foot. Well, he said the words Brendan Falone, I'm telling you, the hair's in the back of my neck. Fuck, it stood up. It made him look like John fucking Gotti. Tony wouldn't have never known him if it wasn't for me. Huh. I had no idea. I'm sleeping. Carmella. Oh, come on in. <laughs> this should be tripping. Oh. Come on, get dressed. I'm taking you to brunch. 
Buckle your seatbelt, Ma. I can't I like find her voice. it. Carmella? Yeah. I do too. I like her accent. Buckle your seatbelt. <laughs> Ma. What is he up to? Not definite. I just thought I'd tell you. you know. So, if you uh, suddenly stop coming to your appointments, I will assume that you are on vacation, and I should wait to be contacted. That would be a good assumption. Don't call me. I'll call you. Right. I ran into Billy Cracciolo. Told me the regular cops in Nutley are looking for a guy. Blew off a kid's toe for no good reason in Russo's bakery. Drove a Lexus. <laughs> Does Tony know about this? What's going on, Chrissy? Been working my ass off on this movie script. You know how many pages I got? 19. Is that a lot or a little? Books say a movie's supposed to be about 120 pages. This fucking computer, I thought it would do a lot of it. That writer with the bullfights blew his own fucking head off. My advice, put that thing down a while. We go get our joints capped, and tomorrow, the words will come blowing out your ass. You ever feel like nothing good was ever gonna happen to you? Yeah. And nothing did. So what? <laughs> I'm alive. I'm surviving. I don't want to just survive. It says in these movie writing books that every character has an arc. Where's my arc? I kill that fucking email cola on nothing. I don't even move up a notch. All I got is nightmares. That Polish, Czechoslovak, whatever the fuck he is, is haunting me in my dreams every night. Mm. That happens. The more of them you do, the better you'll sleep. <laughs> I feel like he's trying to tell me something. That we fucked up the night that we buried him. Why the fuck would he want to tell you you're in danger, considering you put a fucking moonroof in the back of his head? He's a moonroof. What did we do wrong that night? He said, the more you do, the more you get over it. Yeah. But yeah, that was like episode one or two when he did that. Oh, oh. is that him? Now that would be some fucking coincidence if it wasn't, wouldn't it? <laughs> Holy shit, look at that. He was clean shaven. He's got a fucking beard now. Oh, you know what? Look at his fingernails. Oh, fuck, they're like a woman's. Oh, but a fucking puke. <laughs> All right, help me lift him. We'll take him down to Pine Barrens before they build a fucking condo here. Well, he's Georgie! It's too hard. We'll still keep going. I don't know about selling this property. I sure as hell could use an infusion if we're going to support Jace after he graduates. But you know, I don't want to hear that you took one of your Colleen's on a cruise. We all know you're a sucker for those Irish girls. Don't bust my balls. Watch it, Richard. Your Calabrese is showing. What are you, somehow implying by all this I'm ashamed to be an Italian-American? You know, you're all worked up about my patient. Man's a criminal, Jennifer. Finally going to get to good and evil, and he's evil. Sorry, I'm late. The alarm was. <clears throat> Didn't Paulie tell you I ain't been feeling good? You know what? I wet my ass with your feelings. Drive the fucking car. Let's <laughs> just let him know you get you bothered with me. <laughs> that, 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 that was like, that was like the well, I'm going back to and I got a hair on the street. You shot some fucking civilian in the foot because he made you wait for buns? Why don't you just leave a fucking urine sample next time? If I could have done oh, it. Oh, shut up. You're digging up somebody you clipped three months ago. I was worried. Shut up. <laughs> People do that shit, they want to get caught. You want to be a big bad guy, Christopher? I was worried that I didn't shut do Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Don't knew, say nothing. I knew another shut up was coming. I don't know, Tony. It's like just the fucking regularness of life is too fucking hard for me or something. I don't, I don't know. Look at you. I bet you're sleeping all the time, right? It's the only thing I still enjoy. Thinking maybe you're... Depressed. Me? I'm no fucking mental midget. He's 
stressed out too, though. Maybe you got a uh, yeah. serotonin problem or whatever the fuck they call it. You know? What, take fucking Prozac? Not this skinny guinea. I do feel like he's acting like he's different a little bit. Christopher? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He kind of bugging a little bit. Yeah, you can tell he's spooked. Especially after having them dreams and then seeing yeah. uh, the indictments coming down, too. It's like, he feel like it's, it's just a matter of time. You hear the goddamn time. doorbell? I'm in the middle of a game. You'll be in the middle of a fucking street, you don't wise up. <laughs> You're not to the kids. And he's still playing. But you see the similarities, how he talked to his kids and how his mom used to talk to him? Yeah. Anthony oh. Soprano, we have a search warrant. You know you have children in the house. We don't think it necessary to traumatize kids by kicking in doors. Why don't you take a minute and tell them you have uh, visitors? Come on, Tony. Oh. I didn't expect for them to be at the door, let alone the back door. Uh-oh. Hmm. I guess it's up to assume. <laughs> she probably like, maybe he won't be quarters vacation. you can keep. Trying to bribe me? Oh, they Dad, car drives. they're taking my computer. I have an English paper. I better have all my programs on there when it comes back. Anthony. <laughs> they can be searching. What the hell are you doing in my kitchen? History. What the hell are you doing in my refrigerator? I'm very sorry. I'm not cleaning that up. Grasso, get something to clean that. Grasso, te faccio culo così. Your ass. Hey, 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 Tony. Tony, we're going to be out of here in a few minutes. All right, let's wait in the living room. Clean up the bowl. <laughs> Come on. Grasso. <laughs> Whatever you said. Oh, wait, let me not do that. <laughs> I can't know what he said. I know those feds are doing their job, but it pisses me off the way they act. That one guy wasn't so bad, Harris. He was the biggest sneak out of all of them. It's all part of his little act. And that guy that broke the ball, he did that on purpose. Grasso. Grasso. If he wasn't Italian, he'd be back at the office sweeping up. A stupid jerk. Why? Because he's a vowel at the end of his name. That's why Grasso. We have a vow. Oh, I've been right. You'd be proud Italian. of it. Jesus Christ, you think there never was a Michelangelo. The way they treat people. Did you know that an Italian invented the telephone? Alexander Graham Bell was Italian? Antonio Meucci invented the telephone and he got robbed. Everybody knows that. I never heard that. Who invented Wait, the mafia? Me neither. What? Wasn't it Charlie Lucky Luciano who organized the five families? Lucchese, Gambino, Bonanno, Profaci. Is there something you want to say to me? I just like history, like you, Dad. Can you just shut the fuck up about it? <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> I'm dead. AJ, you know John Cabot was trip. Italian? He is trip. But he knows who that is. Is it true that the Chinese invented spaghetti? Now think about it. Why would people who eat with sticks invent something that you need a fork to eat? <laughs> and here's something else I bet you didn't know. <laughs> More Italians fought for this country in World War II than any other ethnic group. And I won't tell you about Sacco Vanzetti either. The two antichrists that got the electric chair in Massachusetts? Anarchists. How can there be two antichrists? There was only one Christ. So? And of course, Francis Albert. Will I see you next week? Unless you know something I don't. Just so you understand that I have to charge you for the missed session. What are you talking about? But I just explained to you my situation. I understand, but it's important that we respect the agreement. All right, fine. Fine, here. Here you go. Uh-oh. Because this is what it's all about, right? Motherfucking cock sucking money. Here. Dang. I don't understand that comment, and I don't appreciate being made to feel afraid. I don't appreciate feeling like I pour my heart out to a fucking call girl. Oh. Is that how you see me? Oh. Not until now. But, but it's obvious you don't give a shit about my situation. Otherwise, you won't be shaking me down. It'll show it as paid on your next month's bill. Fine. Stick it up your ass. Dang. Huh. <laughs> wow. Like you said, everybody well, how about Dr. everybody tripping. Originally right now. he was gonna be a tree surgeon. I think we may have a bad apple. What are you gonna do? There's not much to do. We have to sit back and wait. Don't uh, let Tony yeah, know you I... know. He's under enough pressure. Uh, yeah. I'm sure he's telling the psychiatrist it's all his mother's fault. What are you talking about, a psychiatrist? See? Yeah. He's been seeing one for a while now. Tony? Yes, Tony. And Junior, I don't want any repercussions. I guess oh, the oh, psychiatrist like would be... It's me. Leave a message. Somebody that can tell, right? It's Mommy. I would say they all I know you're there. Pick it up. You are right. 
My God, they mentioned your name in the newspaper today. The Star Ledger. Jason, are you concerned that your mother is treating this patient X? I don't care. After her last encounter with him, she finally acknowledged that she saw the different side of him, the subhuman. I take it you were frightened? Frightened, revolted. When did we become so afraid to get our hands dirty? It's what she gets paid for. I say refer this patient to a therapist that specializes in mafia depression. <laughs> he, he laughing. <laughs> he laughing. Sorry, this isn't funny. Full flares no, laughing. of course not. <laughs> Jan has a real honest to goodness personal and professional dilemma. You know, on my mother's side, we have a few dark sheep. My mother's uncle was Lepke's real man. Uh huh. Those were some tough Jews. They said we're talking about. They talking about uh, Tony and him being her, her patient. Yeah. He like, he tied him with the mob too. I didn't know nothing about the other I didn't either. I know, I know. <laughs> and see, again, now we're starting to see, they starting to feel like the trickle-down effect as far as what we saw like the last, what, two, not two, yeah, like two episodes ago when when when, un when Uncle June was being appointed to boss. He went from capo to like basically like the boss of the organization. Yeah, right. Like, like the head of the family. Yeah. And, and now, like I said, you know, with, with, with the feds having such a close mm -hmm. eye and... and Keeping tabs on what they're doing, how they moving. Right now, we starting to see the indictments coming. Yeah, I I, th I don't know though. I feel like it's just a matter of time because, like, you got Christopher out there being sloppy. Okay, out there in the middle, broad daylight at the pastry shop, showing his face to everybody, and then you know what I mean. Like that's why I'm like, it's just it's just a matter of time. I, I feel like. They either gonna have to start cutting loose ends, or they gonna have to figure out who the who the informant is because in in their group. But I don't know because unless they brought somebody in recently, which they haven't shown yet, it seems like they're all pretty. It's pretty tight knit. I mean, that, tight. That, you know what I'm saying? They got their circle pretty small, but so, yeah. But you just never know what 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 the FBI with the with the federalities might have on them. But who you know? was that guy that was? Because when they did the whole thing when Junior was being like when they were all in their room together and they showed the guy with the with the camera on his little shirt or on his coat. The waiter. Who? Okay, so then why are they letting people into the circle that's not supposed to be in the circle or in events like that? Well, they would, yeah, but see, that's that might be in a that might have been a slip up because they were just trying, you know, they might have had it at, at some type of ballroom. And then might have got some type of catering. Look, you can't sit with us, right. okay? <laughs> it's spirit and point blank. You come in, bring me the water, the drink, the juice, okay, the wine, the whiskey. Because they but had, you gotta go. Because they had it at some kind of like rest. It wasn't even at a restaurant. It was like like a formal place where they kind of like met up, have a, like a, a real big meeting. Yeah. Had nice waiters, but but yeah, sometimes that might be the slip up because you saw that right there. It it, it obviously wasn't somebody that they knew of. It's just somebody that that, that was there that, that they got working that they knew that they were going to have this meetup, and and had somebody on the inside taking pictures, trying to see exactly what's going on, kind of to see why they're having a meeting and who's being moved up, so they know who to look for and how to track who, them. And, who's calling the shots? Yeah, that, but, that but type it was of thing. Just like that one time, so I'm just like maybe maybe they just I don't know. I, what, I, what what I feel one like, time. The one time that that person was in their room with them to get a, get that information, but they never did get any like real and like other than, I guess the detail like. They don't need details again, like the Soprano family, like they've been on their radar for probably for history. decades. Yeah, okay. so okay. they already been oh. on, so they've been on the radar to some degree, okay. knowing that they part of the mafia family. Yeah. So they keep close eyes on what they're doing. That's why they got these businesses going, which are legitimate businesses, but at the same time, they <laughs> enter waste management, they into construction. Right. And what else? Shoot, them the main two. <laughs> waste what else? management. Yeah. Okay, exterminating. Yeah. That type stuff. 
Oh, and then they also in the business of, of helping young girls get a good college education. Right. Helping them raise money for a good college education. Yeah. Yeah. That part. Yeah. Okay. So I guess it's just going to start unfolding like slowly but surely like over a period of time because all of this is not going to... Now Christopher in the paper and stuff, but that's what I mean. Like now he got another spotlight on him. Mm -hmm. He in the paper now. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Yeah. Some I mean... tell me Christopher is just not... <laughs> <laughs> he is not what they need right now. Even though he's a nephew, you know, he he's obviously loyal. I just don't know. He's very just But this stuff happens to but this stuff has has happened to them. So it's almost like you just kinda sit back, cool out, make sure everything is clean for right now. So the next couple of weeks, next couple of months, you don't really do nothing. You don't no. do too much moving around. That's usually what you do. Say he got me nervous, okay? You know? I'm just saying. That's usually what you do. <laughs> I'm just saying, y'all. Like for real. Okay. Well y'all tap in. Let us know what y'all think down in the comment section below. And if y'all enjoyed this, be sure you give us a big thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe. Come on smash that notification bell so you don't miss any videos from HMBJ. And if ain't nobody else told you, I love you. And we're going to see y'all in the next video, y'all. Absolutely. <laughs> we'll see y'all sooner than later. Yeah, y'all. Bye.